What's up guys, I'm Mr. Freddy here. Today is going to be a brand new collection video. This time is going to be Pokemon. And I have lots of games and some merch. So let's do this. So first up is Pokemon Platinum, which is pretty much my favorite Pokemon game ever. And, you know, especially that Gen 4 is possibly the, you know, the best generation of Pokemon besides, you know, Gen 3 and you know, the other generation I'll talk about later. So yeah. Seriously, I play this game like so many times, you know, I replay it like multiple times out of the Pokemon games. So yeah. Really great game. You know. Platinum, pretty much the definitive way to play the, the Gen 4 games. So yeah. So that's that. And this doesn't have like the box and this is only like came up with this clamshell case, so yeah. Next is uh Pokemon White. Which is a Gen 5 game, and you know, Gen 5, it's actually a really great generation, you know, with like lots of new Pokemon that are introduced and a really deep and really amazing story and such. Yeah, and I chose White Version because, you know, come on, it's kind of somewhat like canon, like somewhat canon, you know, by some like, you know, some, you know, the mini Pokemon series, you know, which, you know, I think the protagonist has like a Zacrom, while well, N has Reshiram, so yeah. So overall, you know, Pokemon White, I mean, the first one, really great game. Okay, next up is uh, Pokemon White 2, and also a really great game, you know, and yeah. Gen 5, I'm happy that it got so much reckon, lots of love re in recent years, you know, since back then, it's considered as like underrated. Which, you know, I can understand because it's kind of a little more... It's been overlooked by the more... It, by its superior... By the superior games in, like, uh, Gen 4 and Gen 3 games. But, come on, Gen 5. Well, both of these are really great, you know. All, all of Gen 5 is really great, so, yeah. It's just like the Platinum and White 1. Uh, this doesn't have, like, a box. This is coming, kind of like, in this CD uh, packet, so, Yeah. Really great game. Okay, next up is the 3DS games, you know, okay, like Gen 6 up until Gen 7, which are Pokemon X. Pretty good game, but not as good as like Gen 5, you know, like, you know, Gen 6, you know, it's kind of a, you know, felt a bit too easy, you know, since, you know, there wasn't, it wasn't as hard as Gen 5, but it felt a bit too easy because of the EXP share. And yeah, here's the back. Ernius looks, you know, look really, you know, the bus, you know, the background of, uh, like, uh, behind, uh, Cernius looks very great, and Cernius is kind of a, looks rather gorgeous for, for a legendary Pokemon, so, yeah. And, here's what the cartridge looks like, and, no instruction manual, it's just, uh, you know, just, like, check the e-manual, which is kind of disappointed, so, yeah. I miss instruction manuals in games, so, yeah. Pokemon X, pretty good, but, you know, felt a bit too easy. <sighs> Next is as Skitters as, like, the best, uh, remake out of the Pokemon games, besides, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which is of a Sapphire. And, yeah, the cover looks really nice, you know, with Promo Kyogre, Kyogre, you know, swimming in the deep waters, so, yeah. Here's the back, you know, really nice, really appreciate the artwork here, so, yeah. Here's what the cartridge looks like, uh, no, no instruction manuals, but it has, like, this little Club Nintendo fan inside of it, so, yeah. You know, Alpha Sapphire, you know, so it's Omega Ruby, really great remake, you know, and that was on par with, like, Hercule and Soul Silver in terms of the improved story, and I think the, you know, the lots of enhancement compared to their original version, so, yeah. Okay, next is the Pokemon game that kind of got me back into the franchise. After just been in, like, kind of, like, ignore it after, like, Gen 4 and just kind of skip out both Gen 5 and 6, which is Gen 7, you know, Pokemon Sun. Uh, a really great game with, like, a really good story, so, yeah. Here's what the back looks like, you know. Info should have said welcome to Alola since you know this game takes place in the in Alola, so yeah. 
here's what the cartridge looks like, and there's like a advert for the for the deep crystal uh, accessory for the game, and advertising for Pokemon Bank for a update for Gen Seven. So yeah, the cartridge looks rather nice overall. So yeah, Pokemon Sun, you know, a game that got me back to the Pokemon franchise, really good. So yeah, even for the team I chose in my first playthrough, is kind of a uh, not good, but you know, at least I kind of improve it in my second playthrough. Maybe next time I should like, I should like revisit this game for the third time and just have like a more, a more amazing uh, team in my game. So yeah, okay. Next up is the I think the Pokemon game I spent so many hours on, and but you know, Infra Platinum is like the most replayed Pokemon I have played. So yeah, which is uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun, which I think is like eight hundred plus hours, which is kind of crazy for a Pokemon game that, you know, everybody's, like, spent so many hours on compared to, like, Pokemon Sun. Here's the pack, what it looks like, and intro, it's not as good as the original Sun, but it has, like, a lot of, uh, a really great post-game, and it's, like, a more extensive variety of Pokemon to pick for your team, and, you know, a more crazier, uh, third act uh, than, like, the original Sun's, uh, climax with, you know, Lusamine and her, uh, you know, the Ultra Beast form, and... Here's what the cartridge looks like. No, no instruction manual, unfortunately. So yeah, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Really good game, you know, with like lots of stuff to add in that makes it really amazing. Even for Sun actually is better because, you know, it has a more a better story. So yeah. Okay, next is the Switch games, you know, which is Gen 8. Didn't have Gen 9, you know, because I kind of like skip it because of... You know, it's like some people are just a bit mixed on Gen 9 because of the issues it has. Okay, first up is uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which is strangely enough part of Gen 7, even for it should be like a Gen 8 game. But you know, this came out like, I think like a year before Gen 8 came out. And I got this game around Christmas time, and, and I, it just actually came with this the Pokeball Plus. And it's kind of like a a very really superior way to play the game, you know, because it's kind of a little bit kind of comfortable to hold it, and it also has a kind of looks like rather bright, but you know, I think the battery on this is kind of dead, so yeah, you know, you know, the cover looks really nice besides alongside the, the the Let's Go Pikachu version, and yeah, back which even for it said it's a first Pokemon adventure for everyone, even through. A lot, you know, even for just like Pokemon games, like that are executed as as their, you know, every, you know, everyone like got a you know Pokemon games like these as their first. And for, I think it's like more good. It's more like pretty good as like for casual. So yeah, and here's what the cartridge looks like with pretty nice artwork of Eevee on it, and this really nice inside cover of the map of Kanto. So yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Eevee. Kind of a <clears throat> a pretty good remake of Gen One, even through uh, Fire and Leaf Green. From what I heard, is better. So you know, just come on. Can we get like a new a Pokemon game that wasn't just going back to Kanto? So yeah, like a Gen. You know, we should have got like Gen Four remakes if it wasn't for this. So yeah, but you know, fortunate on that. Okay, next is someone a controversial Pokemon game, Pokemon Sword, aka okay, Gen Eight, and. Yeah, the cover is kind of a little bit bland, since, you know, it's kind of been a little bit, bit more better, so, yeah. Here's the back, while new after with Pokemon, you can battle to be the best, and, yeah. You know, there's, like, some, like, some stuff that people are just a bit upset about, like, the removal of the national decks, and I think the, I think some of the graph the graphics is a bit, can be rather terrible. Here's what the cartridge looks like in this nice inside cover of Galar. You know, it looks rather nice. And, yeah. You know, Pokemon Sword, you know, Gen 8. It's a pretty fine game, even if it should have been better, you know, if they could have delayed it for, like, n around 2020, like, the end of next year of 2020. So, yeah. Okay, next is the last two are Gen 4-related games. And first up is uh, Pokemon Shiny Pearl, which is the Gen 4 remake. And 
somewhat a disappointment for everybody, especially me, because like we thought it's gonna be could be good, you know, it could be good because it could contain some platinum stuff, but unfortunately it's just more stick to like the original Diamond Pro games, which you know should have been better, but they just like include some platinum content to make it better. So yeah, but the artwork really nice, you know, with Palky on it. So it's brilliant time. It's a uh, artwork with Dialga on it, and here's the back. Unravel the myth of the Pokemon that controls space. Here's what the cartridge looks like, but it didn't have Palky on it. Same thing with like Pokemon Sword, it didn't have like a artwork of Azazian on the cartridge. So yeah, but I think they kind of keep it as a, a tradition to not include like a artwork of legendary Pokemon in the cartridge. So yeah, Pokemon Shining Pearl, pretty nice. But, you know, a pretty, a pretty f fine remake. Even for Shimmin like Shimmin better, you know. But the inside cover looks really nice. So yeah, you know, I forgot to mention about it. And lastly is the the recent Pokemon game I own until hopefully I'll get a you know, Pokemon game I'm just more looking forward to than Gen 9, which is uh, ZA, and it's Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it's a really awesome game, you know, since it's a action RPG open world type of Pokemon game, and they actually did pretty good, you know, even for it's kind of, it didn't go a little bit crazy on the open world stuff, but come on, the art style and such, Really amazing, and the, the new Pokemon that are introduced in this game, you know, mostly just the Hysonian forms, are really amazing, and, yeah, this is, like, possibly the really, possibly this is the best Pokemon artwork for, in the, for the box art I've ever seen, you know, it's like, yeah, they're just going ham on, on the artworks for Pokemon games in recent years, besides, it's, uh, Shining Pearl, and I think, let's go Eevee, so, yeah. And here's what the cartridge looks like, which you know, looks really nice. And this really amazing, gorgeous uh, inside cover of the map of Hisui. Of so, yeah. So that's uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And that's all the games. And now for the games I own on the virtual console, which are... Sorry. Uh, hang on. Which are... Well, the other games, which are... Well, this is some of the app, which is Pokemon Bank, and Pokedex 3D, and the other, the other one is Pokemon Red, which, you know, you know the first ever Pokemon game, Info, it's kind of updated, you know, but it's still good, and Pokemon Crystal, which is a Gen 2 game, and Gen 2 is a really good game, you know, possibly, I like it, I like it better than uh, Gen 1, you know, because, you know, there's like a lot of improvements than like Gen 1, you know, like... You know, the introduction of uh, Dark and Steel to take on uh, second types and such, and the post game stuff that, you know, that's more extensive than uh, Gen 1. So, yeah. So that's the virtual console games and some other stuff. And last stuff is the merchandise stuff. And I have like the, like a Pokemon shirt that's like water type theme, and the swim trucks so features like Alo and Raichu and uh, Executor. But. I'm not gonna bring those. It's gonna not gonna showcase them sadly. So yeah. Okay. First up is the two Pokemon Amiibos. That's for Smash Bros, which are Pikachu and Lucario. You know, they look really nice. You know, for uh, statues or for for the for these Pokemon that are like compatible with like lots of Nintendo games from the Wii U up until the Switch era. So yeah. Uh, next is the. This Cubone uh, Funko Pop, which is pretty cute, you know, and pretty, you know, pretty detailed looking for a Funko Pop of a Cubone. So yeah, okay, yeah, kind of, it's kind of he, you know, he has a hard time like trying to stand up. And lastly is this uh Burger King toy, which has Rhyhorn on it with this launcher, which is for the first Pokemon movie. So let me showcase it. So yeah. Hang on a sec. Okay, got Rhyhorn back on the launcher. So, yeah. So, anywho, so that's my uh, Pokemon collection. Uh, getting there. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, collection video. Uh, like and comment this video and subscribe to my content. So, this is Mr. Fetty here. And I hope you have a very good day. So, bye.